Domino's Pizza is one dividend stock down 41% that I think you might regret not buying on the dip. I'm going to explain why I think that's the case in this video. Starting with Domino's Dividend Yield, which offers a you know, reasonable rate of 1.36%. It's not as high as you can get investing in a money market fund, certificate of deposit, or a government bond yield. But what you do get with Domino's Pizza is the potential for increases in the dividend over the next several years and the potential for the stock price to increase over time. And looking at that potential, one of the things that leads to increasing stock prices is rising revenue if it comes along with rising profits. So looking at the revenue side of the equation, Domino's has done an excellent job boosting revenue over the last decade from a little over $1.7 billion all the way up to $4.537 billion, nearly tripling its revenue over that time. And I suspect that um, revenue, uh, revenue will be solid for Domino's, especially in the event of a recession, because more consumers will look to get more bang for their buck and buying pizza for the family from Domino's is an affordable option on the days you decide you don't want to cook or prepare food at home compared to many of the other places you can uh, eat out or order from. Domino's is one of the most affordable options, at least in the U.S. And then looking at Domino's operating profit margin over the trailing 12 months, it has done a solid job with this figure, keeping it in the mid to high double digits. Uh, it rose over 18% at one point in 2018, and now it's down a little bit to 16.93%. Domino's profit margins have been pressured in 2022. The company has had to pay more for uh, to attract workers and its cost of goods sold has increased. So those pressures are likely to persist for 2023. However, they could ease in 2024 and onward as the supply and demand balance in the labor market uh, reaches equilibrium and as inflation eases. And I suspect inflation will ease by the end of 2023 because of how aggressively the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates and the fact that economies have mostly reopened, which is bringing supplies back up. So that increase in supplies plus the decrease in demand from rising interest rates have uh, already begun to bring down inflation. And by the end of 2023, I suspect most of the work will be done in inflation will be closer to the Fed's long-run target of 2%. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. The last reason why I'm going to give why Domino's, uh, you might regret not buying Domino's stock on this dip here is because of the reasonable valuation. Uh, Domino's is trading at a forward price to earnings of 25.46, which is near the lowest this stock has traded for in the last two years. So you're getting this stock at a relatively bargain valuation. Um, so you're not really paying top dollar for Domino's stock. You're buying it near the lowest it has traded for. And so it's already accounting for those headwinds that the company faces. Uh, I mentioned one of the headwinds, which is the rising cost of goods sold and rising wages. So rising uh, pressures on Domino's uh, operating costs. Another potential risk to Domino's is what I mentioned earlier, the rising interest rates. Domino's carries a lot of debt uh, compared to the size of the company. And if these higher rates persist, that could be uh, difficult for Domino's because it, it is going to have to refinance that debt at higher interest rates or uh, use a significant amount of its cash flow to pay down the debt. So because of its high level of debt, higher interest rates could be a concern for Domino's if these higher interest rates remain uh, high for an extended period of time. So that's just something to 
keep an eye out for. But overall, all things considered, I still think that you might regret not buying Domino's stock on this dip here. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope I'll see you again next time.